Hello guys, I am Gaurav Jha and today we will be discussing about the G-Man effect. So you, you may be heard about the Stark effect, G-Man effect. So the Stark effect is a bit similar to G-Man effect, both are similar but in Stark effect what happens? That splitting occurs in electric field and in G-Man effect the splitting occurs in magnetic field. So what is the G-Man effect? Suppose you having any molecule or any atom. So when you are going to put any atom or molecule in static magnetic field, remember static magnetic field, not dynamic, static magnetic field, what will happen? There will be a splitting in the hyperfine structure of that system that is known as G-man effect. Suppose you having any molecule, suppose uh, you having water molecule, you are going to put this water molecule in static magnetic field, what will happen? There will be a splitting of uh, uh, H2O molecule. Normally, suppose if it, it is giving one peak, but in case of magnetic field, it will give more peaks. So that is the G-man effect. The application of G-man effect is NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance, ESR, electron spin resonance, Mosbier spectroscopy. These are the application of G-man effect, where the molecules is placed in static magnetic field and because of static magnetic field, all different kinds of um, atom will give a different peaks in different um, level so that we can detect that uh, where the we are getting the peak and accordingly we can elucidate the structure of that molecule. So generally, Zeeman effect is used to determine the structure of any molecule. That is the application of the Zeeman effect. So overall, what is the Zeeman effect? Zeeman effect is the splitting of hyperfine structure of a molecule or at atom in presence of magnetic field. So that is the G-man effect. And similar is the Stark effect. Same thing will be happen but in the in presence of electric field. That is the Stark effect. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share. Thank you.